Mandera County Commissioner Kutswa Orlaka has said they will arrest and prosecute residents found culpable in Thursday's skirmishes that led to the death of three people in Elwak town. The administrator was speaking during a series of peace meetings held in the frontier town where County Governor Ali Roba called for cohesion and integration of locals and non-locals of northeastern Kenya. Hassan Mugambi has been following developments in Mandera and now joins us live from there. Hassan, what is the situation there now after the three days of tension that really led to the protests and killings we witnessed? Well, the situation has uh, bounced back to normalcy and uh, the town today was a beehive of activity uh, owing to the series of peace meetings that were being conducted here by the administrative uh, leaders as well as political leaders of this particular county. We saw, uh, you know, the governor and uh, the county commissioner le leading a whole uh, host of leaders just uh, to, you know, meet uh, some of the local leaders as well as uh, the non-local um, community that lives uh, right here and uh, preaching the words of uh, cohesion and uh, peaceful integration in the community and this is what uh, the governor said in the culmination of uh, a meeting that brought the two groups together this evening tumepoteza walimu tumepoteza madaktari mabarabara zijengeki <coughs> oil explosion ime, imefanyika drilling imekuwa ni shida Tunataka raia wajue al-shabab wana target nafsi yao. Na lazima wawe wao wajiweke tayari kupambana na hizi shida ya magaidi ya al-shabab. Well, Vicky, that is what the governor said. And on his part, uh, the county commissioner, Kutso Olaka, said that investigations have already started to hunt down some of those protesters that led, uh, that, uh, you know, led these violent demonstrations on Thursday that led to the death of three, uh, th three people. Uh, one of them was shot uh, uh, by what they are terming uh, a stray bullet uh, that uh, supposedly came from the police. And uh, the rest of them were stoned to death by uh, some of the rowdy uh, youth that were taking part in this particular demonstration that was witnessed here. So uh, the county commissioner saying that this is a very regrettable and uh, investigations have started and no one will be spared in as far as uh, if they are found uh, to be culpable in that particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, offenses that were committed in uh, that particular day, uh, that fateful day that saw the, th uh, the death of the three. This is uh, something that uh, was starred by the uh, recovery of three bodies of uh, some herders uh, suspected to have been killed uh, by uh, law enforcement agencies after being arrested. So this uh, is a whole lot of uh, a situation that uh, culminated to this and uh, as I I have, I have already explained uh, those are something uh, things that are continuing to being investigated, Vicky. So we'll be keeping our ears on the ground and, and uh, in, on developments here in Elwak town of Mandera County. And we'll be coming uh, to you with the full details as and when we get it. All right. Thanks for that update, Hassan. Of course, we'll be monitoring the developments in Mandera in the course of the week.